My name is Vera Evenson. I'm the curator of the Herbarium of Fungi here at Denver Botanic Gardens. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to show you and talk to you about my dear friend Sam Mitchell. Dr. Dwayne H. Mitchell was born in 1917 in a farming community near Winchester, Kansas. A brilliant student, Sam attended Geneva College in Pennsylvania, won a scholarship to Harvard Medical School, graduating cum laude in 1943, just in time to be inducted into the Army Medical Corps. After serving overseas, he completed his medical studies and eventually established an internal medicine practice in Denver which lasted 40 years, ministering to over 20,000 patients, teaching and doing medical research. From his farm background, Sam was always a great nature lover. One of his family campouts with his boys, Scott and Kirk, uh, he discovered an abundance of beautiful mushrooms in Colorado's high country. Right then and there, he decided to try to identify them. Finding little help locally, he began his own studies typical of Sam, and eventually founded an herbarium of fungi here at the gardens a few years later, as well as a mushroom study club. That club turned into our own Colorado Mycological Society, one of our most active plant societies here at the Botanic Gardens. The herbarium of fungi he founded is the same one we have now, but however, with over 24,000 specimens representing uh, at least 2,000 taxa. As a passionate volunteer, Sam gave his energy, his vision, his funds, and many thousands of hours of time to develop the herbarium. He equipped it with microscopes, herbarium cases, a library, and all the chemicals and equipment he needed for studying his precious specimens. He involved many volunteers throughout those years, including our dear Bob and Rosalie Brace, and I was a volunteer for many years also. During Sam's 25 volunteer years, he wrote or co-wrote two scientific books, many national journal articles, taught mushroom identification courses, worked on a national level to develop a plan to identify mushroom poisonings for the Rocky Mountain Poison Center, and collected and identified over 8,000 mushroom specimens on his own. Well known for his acute analytical skills in both mycology and medicine, his passion for the fungi, his broad understanding of the web of life. Sam's life epitomized the synergism of the amateur and the professional. He summed it all up by stating, I practice medicine to make a living and study mushrooms to make living worthwhile. Just as our vascular plant herbarium is named for its volunteer founder, Catherine Kalmbach, it has been my greatest wish to name the DBG Fungal Herbarium for Sam Mitchell. An endowment was established once the collection turned 40, and many f people contributed in his honor, with the goal being that once a minimum endowment was achieved, we would name the herbarium for its founder. Sam had a very successful herbarium, one of the reasons that it continued for so many decades was he had loyal volunteers. We are honoring Bob Brace in this endowment. Over half of the donations were given in his memory. He passed away in 2008. He was remembered for his wry humor, his work attitude. He was our engineer in our lab and did all kinds of things. We were extremely pleased that this, these donations were made in his memory. It gives me immense pleasure to honor an incredible volunteer, Dr. Sam Mitchell, one of a few dedicated volunteers who first established Denver Botanic Gardens as a research institution. My mentor, my teacher, my friend. By naming the Herbarium of Fungi for him, soon to be dedicated as the Sam Mitchell Herbarium of Fungi.